Hi, today I'm going to show you how to remove an SMD component using the IR-1000. This is PACE's manual infrared rework station uh, with a built-in fan, internal profiling software, and a 400 watt infrared bottom heater. Um, so right now I'm going to show you how to remove this BGA component off of this uh, Galaxy S4 circuit board. First we want to turn on the machine and align the component underneath the laser dot. When centered, the vacuum pick will align exactly to where the red dot was. Once everything is secured, we can input a profile to the machine. Input the temperature and time for each of our three zones. The bottom side heater can be adjusted by temperature, whereas the top side heater is controlled by a power level from 1 to 20. Temperature of the board or component can be measured using the magnetic thermocouple, which comes standard with the IR1000. Once the profile is set and saved, and we see that the bottom heater is up to temp, we can start the cycle. The IR1000 uses infrared technology for both the top and bottom side heater. This allows for better heat transfer for thicker boards while keeping the heat focused. So we're reaching the end of our cycle now and I'm going to go ahead and pick it up with the internal vacuum. And now to initiate the fan, all we need to do is push over the heater head and that'll start the fan. Okay, so that's how you remove a BGA component using the IR1000. The IR1000 can save up to 50 different profiles internally and comes with everything you see here, including the magnetic thermocouple. If you need any more information or have any questions on this unit, please visit our website at paceworldwide.com. Thanks for watching.